Hi everyone, my name is Tyler Oakley and we need to talk. It's been five months of the coronavirus and we still have to have this conversation. I am tired and exhausted and frustrated and uninspired and feeling stuck and it just is like a culmination of a million things and then I get on Instagram and I see people's stories and it's like they're acting as if we live in a pandemicless society. And this is not like the places around the world that have like gotten things under control and have no coronavirus anymore and can go do the things that they want to go do. We're talking like places like Texas and Florida and California and all around the country where cases are on the rise and you have people just throwing parties, <laughs> living their lives as if people won't probably die from their really inappropriate actions. And I feel like I'm going crazy, but I know that it's them that are doing the wrong things, right? It just kind of boggles my mind because I see people, like not just people from my hometown of Michigan that like think that, well, who cares? But like influencers going and having huge parties. <laughs> where they don't seem to give a fuck and talking about they have to go on and live their lives and they still have to go make money so like they can't stop hanging out with people and it's like, girl, what are you on about? Now I know that there is like endless YouTube drama. I pretty much stay in my little corner of the internet. It's not something I get involved in. I truly just don't care. But when I start seeing influencers using their platform to normalize the behavior of acting like there's no pandemic. We that masks aren't necessary, that social distancing is not necessary. That is like beyond the scope of YouTube drama. That is something that is impacting the entire world. There's one thing to go and do what you want and like not social distance and mask. Like that's already morally a little bit like, what are you up to? But then how dumb do you have to be to post it on your Instagram story and act like this is appropriate behavior? I have to fucking say something and I feel like I'm screaming into the void right now because it's like nobody else is calling these idiots out for their bullshit. And I see somebody like Jake Paul acting like a fucking idiot and I'm like, can we all just stop giving platforms to people who do not rise to the challenge of using their platform for good? And I'm not telling you to like unfollow them. Bitch, it would send a message. And as far as what we individually need to do, it's not like anybody's asking you to go to war. It's not like anybody's asking you to do something dramatic. It's like, just stay home. It's not that challenging. And I feel like every day we wake up to new videos of these like Karens across the country who refuse to wear a mask and like a CVS. You can't take high temperature. <laughs> and they just scream at the top of their lungs if they're being oppressed. <laughs> All you have to do is wear a little thing. You go into stores all day long, all the time, all year, all your life, where there's a dress code. What's so different about putting on a mask? It is not oppressive. And the weirdest thing is like, the people that really don't wanna wear a mask are the same people who insist all lives matter. They don't wanna talk about Black Lives Matter, little bitch. If all lives matter, you would wear a mask because you care about all lives. That's what wearing a mask is. It's caring about everyone around you. If all lives really fucking matter, put a fucking mask on. So. Guys, back to square one. Here's a little reminder. Masks are not an infringement on your rights. Masks are a way to show people around you that you care about their health, that you don't wanna get them sick, that you want this all to end sooner so that everyone can get back to something we call normal. And I'm really to the point where I'm like, okay, well, if you are somebody in my life and you're still doing all of this inappropriate behavior where you're putting your life and everyone around you's lives at risk because you don't wanna wear a mask or you don't wanna socially distance or you wanna travel the country in large groups and act like 20 is not happening as it's happening, then maybe I need to like question whether or not I should have you in my life. Like that is a big statement you're making about how you see your place in the world and where you stand as far as public health goes and whether or not you care about strangers. It's like, those are pretty big statements. And if I see that you just don't care about people, maybe you shouldn't have access to me as a friend. That's how I feel. And I don't know if that's selfish or not, but like at some point I need to like cut bad people out. And I feel like we all need to do that. Cause yes, I want to have conversations with them and be like, this is what you're doing. You need to stop. But there's only so many times I can do that a day. So obviously, yeah, I'm really frustrated about like our individual responsibility, but it all boils down to like our terrible leadership. And here in America, at least we have leaders up to the very top insisting that it's like fake or a hoax. This is their new hoax. And it's not, it is a health crisis and we need leaders 
that encourage us to take responsibility and listen to science. So while we can't change who is a leader right now in the government, we can in a couple months. So we all need to vote and we all need to do what we can to encourage everyone in our lives to vote. And we all need to have difficult conversations about why it's important for us to have real leadership starting ASAP. Because now after four years, there are a million reasons why we don't need four more years of Trump. They are dying. That's true. It is what it is. Obviously, I'm preaching the choir, I hope, but there are people in all of our lives that need to hear this. So we need to be having those hard conversations with our moms and dads and grandmas and grandpas and all the people in our lives about why it's important to get out the vote. Because clearly there is so much on the line and there has been four years and we cannot risk another four years. I feel like there's a million things right now. I can only handle one thing at a time. I want to be able to multitask on all of these traumas, but like, we're all. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what's on my mind. <laughs> Obviously, nobody is perfect. Nobody can handle this pandemic in a perfect way. Like we all have to figure out what is the best route for us and for the people around us, but we can all do our part to try our best to be responsible, to wear a mask, to socially distance, to limit our interaction with strangers. And for the people that are watching that actually have been doing these things for the last five months, Thank you. You're probably losing your mind right now because it's so frustrating to log on to whatever platform and see people not giving a fuck. I feel like this is one of the very few instances in my life where I have regularly been disappointed by people that I just expected better from. So yes, if you are not one of those people, you are somebody who has been taking it seriously, thank you. Because not a lot of people are saying thank you to the people that are doing the right thing. So thank you. And if you are one of the people that has been doing stuff that is not the most helpful in slowing down the pandemic, in the United States. It's not too late to start being better because that's the only solution at this point. Okay, that's all I have for today. I just needed to like get that off my chest, really like air it out of my brain because I'm sitting here like just scrolling on my phone all day long for five months and just like losing my mind. So I figured I can't be the only person that's like, oh my God, these people. So yeah, thank you for listening. Tell me how you feel in the comments below. Maybe we can be a little support group. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe a share it with somebody who needs to hear a little bit of a reminder that we are still trying to get through this and maybe they should change their behavior. That is all for today. Have a good life. Be sure to subscribe, hit the little bell button so you know when I upload a brand new video. Okay, see you next Tuesday.